Hey, good morning. We're here late this uh, Tuesday morning here at the National Hurricane Center with the latest on what's just formed as Tropical Storm Melissa here in the Central Caribbean Sea, uh, currently situated about 300 miles to the south of Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Uh, we've had some data this morning from some ship observations, some satellite imagery uh, suggest that Melissa's maximum sustained winds right now are around 45 miles per hour. The system we've been watching has been moving very quickly across the Eastern Caribbean, but starting to slow down now, moving to the west at 14 miles per hour. Uh, the main story with Melissa over the next several days is going to be a slow motion to the west northwest and then north. And you can see the forecast for the system all the way through Friday and even into Saturday and Sunday still keeps the system generally in the vicinity of the north central Caribbean, uh, somewhere in the vicinity of uh, the southern coast of Haiti or maybe near Jamaica. A lot of uncertainty in the eventual track and intensity of this system. We are expecting slow intensification uh, through the tropical storm uh, status and up to hurricane intensity by the time we get to this weekend. We have a hurricane watch that's been issued for the southern peninsula of Haiti from the border with the Dominican Republic all the way around to Port-au-Prince. We have a tropical storm watch in effect for Jamaica, but everybody uh, across the Dominican Republic, Haiti, uh, eastern Cuba, Jamaica will want to monitor the progress of Melissa because of the uncertainty in the eventual track and intensity of the system and what those impacts could be. We could see wind impacts beginning in these areas as soon as Thursday. But the big story is going to be the rainfall and uh, rainfall has historically been the biggest uh, source of fatalities for tropical storms and hurricanes in the Caribbean. And this is the rainfall forecast just from today through Friday. And we're expecting widespread rainfall totals of 5 to 10 inches across portions of Haiti and the Dominican Republic, especially along the southern coast here through Friday that could result in significant flash flooding and mudslides uh, across Jamaica, Puerto Rico, and Aruba, we're expecting to see uh, rainfall totals of one to three inches with the potential for at least isolated flash and urban flooding possible in Puerto Rico, at least through Friday. We could see additional heavy rainfall totals as we get into the weekend, be, uh, be above and beyond these five to 10 inches across portions of Hispaniola. So this could end up being a very significant rainfall and flooding and landslide threat on that island. So wrapping up here with the key messages for Melissa on this Tuesday morning, Melissa is expected to produce heavy rainfall and the risk of significant flash flooding and the danger of, flat, of landslides to portions of Haiti and the Dominican Republic through the weekend. A hurricane watch has been issued for the southern coast of uh, and the southern peninsula of Haiti with a tropical storm watch issued for Jamaica. Uh, preparations to protect life and property from those wind hazards should be completed in those areas by Thursday. And there is still significant uncertainty in the track and intensity forecast of Melissa and interest elsewhere in Hispaniola and eastern Cuba should monitor the progress of the system. So keep coming back here to hurricanes.gov at the National Hurricane Center for updates on Melissa throughout the week. And uh, interest in the Caribbean should see products and advice from their local meteorological service and their local government officials to be prepared. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan.